Hi, my name is Ray Shane. I'm a mechanical engineering major. Hi, my name is Ava Boyce, and I am a material science and engineering major. Hi, my name is Jordan Robertson. And I'm a computer science. And to, for our first engineering design day project, we decided to go with a mechanical <coughs> music maker. Our group name is The Sounds of STEM. So for this challenge, we need to design a battery or mechanically powered device that was no more than 50% electrical and could play a 10 second song uh, that was recognizable. And it was underneath a budget of $40 in total. For this song, we decided to choose Mary Had a Little Lamb as it was recognizable and simple. These pictures show some of the designs that we were given to, to give us ideas to choose from. And we noticed that a lot of them had some sort of user input instead of being hands-free. So when we were looking at these, we were trying to find a way to be original and also have a way to where it's more hands-off. Um, looking at these, we noticed that Pipes were not being utilized very often. So that's when we turn to more of a pipe type prototype structure. Okay, so within the engineering design cycle, our identification of the problem was of course the challenge that we were given by um, said. Um, and then we went through the research stage um, in writing our research paper um, in which we, as Ray said, chose pipes. Um, for it, the originality it brought to our design. Um, and then we moved on to developing possible solutions. <clears throat> uh, and with pipes, there was of course the um, classical usage with pipes, with pipe instruments, um, with using air. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't our best solution because not only are those mechanisms expensive, but they would be very difficult for us to operate um, with the $40 budget. Uh, so this brought us to what we think to be our best solution of using solenoids to launch um, small beads toward metal plates that are tuned to certain notes that can play Mary Had a Little Lamb, um, and then setting off those solenoids uh, with an Arduino system. So to fully realize the design, Ava catted us a prototype model, and we were able to see what our potential design could look like. In this initial CAD model, we started off with just three solenoids and three pipes for each. We later made a wooden version of the box that would house these three solenoids in their pipes. Uh, after further testing of the solenoid, we realized that it was not going to be powerful enough to launch a marble that height. So we decided to both shorten the pipe length and change the marble to a bead, something lighter, but that would still produce a clear note. Uh, after further realizing, we realized that the song Mary Had a Little Lamb absolutely needed a fourth solenoid. So we decided to change the initial design and added a fourth hole and pipe to house that fourth note. Uh, so this slide shows our final sketches and our final product of our music maker machine with the box. So like Jordan said, we have added a fourth hole for a pipe for a four solenoid because the song we decided to choose requires that fourth note. And uh, on the top, on the right side, top left corner, those are the metal bars that we have decided to use to produce our note from the bead hitting the pipe itself. We have a one more picture of the box right before we added the rest. And the front side is gonna have a clear plexiglass piece. So we are actually able to see into the box itself while it's running the code and playing our song. And now Jordan will explain the Arduino portion. So in order for us to communicate with the solenoids and the LEDs that we later implemented, we were going to need uh, Arduino device uh, to serve as kind of the brain for our entire project. The Arduino was able to take code that I created on my laptop and upload it and then have the uh, solenoids execute them with the commands. 
also in order to, to use the solenoids correctly, we need to have a relay block for each solenoid. We purchased this from Amazon for about uh, $12, I believe, um, and then used the relay, relay block to tell the solenoid to either extend itself or retract. Uh, in addition to having the solenoids extend and retract, we have a color-coded LED for each note uh, or each solenoid or for each respective solenoid. But basically, this means that if a G note is being played, the red LED will light up. If a C note is being played, the yellow LED will light up and so on and so forth. Okay, so some of the challenges that we ran into along the uh, design and construction process. <coughs> Sorry, it was originally um, the originality aspect to it. Um, in addition to the parameters of the challenge itself, we wanted to do something that was new, um, like Ray had mentioned before with our research phase. So originality was definitely a difficult thing to accomplish um, both in the design and construction um, as something original is um, usually more difficult. Uh, secondly is material acquisition, um, as a lot of the things we wanted to use were expensive, so getting um, supplemental materials was not easy. And of course, time management. Um, <clears throat> we had a timeline and we didn't always stick to it, so it was very difficult to get things done in a timely fashion. Uh, so advice for future freshmen, um, again, starting early and sticking to that timeline is really important. Uh, remember what uh, you're actually challenged to do and then try and meet those uh, challenges to the best of your ability. Delegating tasks, not trying to do everything yourself is also really important. And testing throughout construction uh, really helps you to see where you need to go with the project and where you need to make changes. Um, and that ties into that redesigning aspect. Um, as well as we previously mentioned with getting materials from the engineering lab that is much more helpful than uh, trying to buy everything that you need for your project, with the budget. All right, thank you for your time. That was our presentation as the sound stem.